Good morning traders and welcome to the Daily Call. Today, Wednesday the 19th of April. Before we get started, as always, please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Alright, so let us start off um, overnight uh, in Australia. We had the monetary policy meeting minutes. In summary, the board judged uh, basically that holding the stance on the monetary policy uh, unchanged would be consistent with the sustainable growth in the economy and also in achieving the inflation target over time. They also went further and said that uh, developments in the labour and housing markets warranted careful monitoring over the months. Uh, the movement in the Aussie basically did not really move too much. It went a little bit down when this came out, um, but it was very cautious. It was a very honest reflection from uh, the RBA uh, yesterday. So that's what they put out in the monetary uh, policy meetings. Not a huge deal. All the action happened last night rather unexpectedly unannounced and we basically saw Prime Minister Theresa May shock the markets by calling a snap election which will be happening on the 8th of June. This essentially seen as a, a bit of an unexpected gamble aimed at strengthening her hand as she goes into uh, the European Union negotiations. Um, of course, look, she has made this decision because she thinks she can win and if she does succeed like the market expects and judging by the behavior of the cable yesterday in the markets, the market does believe that she will succeed. Uh, the support of her people gives her a strong negotiating uh, power as she leads into the European Union negotiations as I've already mentioned. As a consequence, yesterday we saw the cable rally nearly 400 pips and as you can see that in my 30 minute chart we had this uh, huge rush at the initial um, calling of the press conference um, market went down we can see the red candle there but as soon as the the nature of the message and the market started to digest the information basically we shot up and essentially the, the GBP USD yesterday moved nearly 400 pips so it was huge Okay, so that was the excitement of the markets yesterday. Um, let's have a look at what's our chart of the day for today. And the chart for today is, I have found uh, Aussie Yen on a four hour chart. Now, if you can see from what I'm showing you right here, it's quite clear that we are in a downtrend with this particular market. But we've just come and we've hit a bit of a flaw. So there's two types of opportunities that can arise from here. Let me zoom in a little bit closer and let's have a look at them. If we zoom in here, we can see that we've produced an inside candle. Well, it's actually the the little blue one, this one is slightly lower than this one, but it's, it's marginal. So it would still be considered uh, uh, what I would call an inside candle situation here. So essentially, if we break on the upside, we're ready to trade it straight away. If I was going to attempt to trade it on the downside, I'm looking for a, a bull, a, a bearish, a very strong bearish type candle. So I would not be willing to trade it just on the break uh, of, of the bottom of that candle. So for the downside, I would want a, a nice bearish candle before I consider it. On the upside, uh, we've already got a, a floor here. It's set up, so if I break the top, I would be happy to to attempt to trade it as a bit of a double bottom. So there you have it. That is our chart of the day. That's the Aussie Yen on a four hour chart. So keep an eye out on that one. It uh, should pop out of that region very, very soon. Let's see if anything triggers from that. Okay, so let's have a look at what's happening in the session that is about to unfold for us. We have at 12.30, uh, just after midnight tonight, we have crude oil inventories from the US. And the only other significant news before I speak to you next tomorrow is in New Zealand we have CPI numbers, which actually happens at 8.45 in the morning tomorrow morning, but that will happen before you get an opportunity to hear my voice again. So there you have it. That's all that we have for this current session. I hope that you all have a fantastic trading day. As always, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. But most importantly, trade safely, manage your risk. Have a great day. I'll speak to you tomorrow for the daily call. Bye for now.